Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a brief video on um, fermentation and saponification. Um, fermentation involves glucose, okay, famous sugar, all right, and um, other sugars that you find in um, uh, fruits, for example, uh, sucrose and other sugars, can be broken down with yeast, which catalyzes the reaction as a catalyst to produce alcohol, all right, and CO2 carbon dioxide. Okay, and then notice it's exothermic. Now the thing is, the alcohol is typically produced that um, folks drink, and um, you know a lot of bad things happen after that. Is ethanol. Now they wrote the condensed structure right here, and this right here would be the structural formula of ethanol. Okay, remember alcohols have an OH group on carbon, and F refers to two carbons. So that's the structural form of ethanol. And uh, you always get these two products, guys, ethanol and carbon dioxide, from a fermentation reaction. Um, once again, they can ask you, right, um, what was the reactant that produced these guys? They can, add, they can give you this um, reactant and ask you what are the products. Um, they can give you one of the products and ask you what's the other one and so on. Okay, so they can ask a variety of questions. They can ask you to fill it in or whatever. So um, that's fermentation in a nutshell. Alrighty, and we're moving on. Okay, so pontification now, on the other hand, um, is a matter of recognition. They don't quite ask you to draw this structure right here. Now, it's not that hard to draw, but typically I've never seen a question where they ask you to draw it. Now, if you look carefully, folks, um, you would notice that this structure has three ester groups, right? Okay? C, double bond O, with carbons on both sides, okay? Attached to this, these three carbons right here. So this guy is typically called a triester, all right? Or triglyceride, okay? And triglycerides actually are fats, all right? So we have some fats reacting with base, right? Now the base in question typically is some form of lye, so it could be um, NaOH or it could be KOH, either or, all righty? It doesn't matter, all right? And the products would be glycerol okay this guy right here now glycerol is a common name for this guy this um three hydroxyl group guy okay and you would get three moles of soap right here okay so what happens is that when the base reacts with this triester okay there's a separation okay over here and over here all right and in the middle right here so what happens is you get three moles of soap produced for every one mole of this triester. And you have to be able to probably recognize this um, glycerol, okay, if they give it to you on a um, uh, question asking you what, what uh, reaction is this a product of, okay, you should recognize what the salt looks like because they can give you this whole reaction and ask you what classification of reaction it belongs to. So you should know that, all right, and you should be able to recognize triesters and obviously you should know what a base looks like so fat okay and base and base react to give glycerol and salt so know what those guys look like it's a matter of recognition but I doubt seriously whether they ask you to uh, actually uh, draw them out and one more point we never really mentioned this in class right there's another multiple hydroxyl group guy which is pretty um, uh, famous it's called ethylene glycol all right now ethylene glycol is typically used in antifreeze all right so it prevents um our cars from uh freezing over in the winter time okay and it also works in the summertime to prevent overheating and it works in the property of cognitive properties now cognitive properties is not only test or anything but it's just a point of fact that you have um um, compounds with multiple um, hydroxyl groups. So glycerol is the most famous, famous guy with three hydroxyl groups, and ethylene glycol here is one with two hydroxyl groups. All right. So once again, fat plus base gives us glycerol and salt, and that's called saponification that produces soap for us. Uh, fermentation produces alcohol. All right, and typically the alcohol in question is ethanol. All right, and carbon dioxide is also produced in 
our fermentation and yeast is our catalyst. All right, as always, guys, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. I hope this video was a help. Take care.